Hey everyone, long story short, my sister rescued six kittens from Mexico, and we ended up keeping three of them. So this little tubby one is a Bakio. If you know, you know. He stole my heart the first time I saw him. He's a purring type and a little cutie patootie. I wasn't planning on getting any more pets anytime soon, but I got too attached to the little critters. This little one is named Black Sabbath because he lives up to his name. He's a menace that needs his eye boogers cleaned up as soon as I stop recording. We gave him a skull collar since it suits him. He's the most feral out of his six siblings. But now he's a sweetheart that won't stop jumping on my kitchen counter. This last one is named Haru Thompson II, who was named after her mother Haru Thompson I. She was actually the first one to get adopted. But she was brought back because her adopter's son got asthma attacks due to her fur. My sister and I both felt bad for rehoming her, so we ended up keeping her too. So now I have six cats. We did try looking for homes for Haru and Black Sabbath, but it's hard finding trustworthy, responsible people to take care of a pet. I also follow a few animal rescues, and many have said that this year was one of the worst mating years for the cat population, so a lot of rescues and shelters are at max capacity right now. If you love animals and are financially able to adopt an animal in need, please do so when you can because there are so many amazing little babies that need a home. You will be seeing my little babies in many videos from now on. Also, please be aware I did have an audio issue, so my audio does sound off for the next segment of the video. So please bear with me. Let's change this scene now. Today, as you can see, I have a new work setup. Prior to this video, I was mostly recording in my living room because it had the best lighting for my videos. And because of that, I realized my living room was not as aesthetically pleasing as I had hoped it to be. So I decided to move into my office. Even though it doesn't have the best lighting, it still gets the job done. And I'm really happy that I have a weeb background. So from this point on, this will be my new work setup for all my videos. Until I find another spot. Did anyone ask for bacon? All right guys, let's unbox. So I have a couple of things that need to be unboxed. First off, I have two Amiami packages, a big one and a small one. And I have a right stuff package as well. So I'm gonna start off with this big Amiami unbox first because I kind of opened it already. Heh, <laughs> let's see what's in this box, dogs. So like every AA package, we get the default postcard, and this is a New Year's postcard. I know for sure I paid for this one in January, or the end of December. Honestly, I just, I don't know anymore. Uh, moving on. Other than the postcard, it also came with this bonus illustration or picture thing. I'm not exactly sure where this is from, but I think it came with one of the CDs I ordered from this package. We'll figure it out soon. But it's nice, it's a thank you postcard. I don't know what for, but it's a thank you. I got more weave junk this time. Not that that's a surprise. The first thing I got was this cat acrylic figure of this couple from a BL called like a Beast or Honto Yaju by Yamamoto Tetsuko. One of my favorite BL mangakas. It features the main characters, Aki and Haru. I've been reading this one for so long, so I'm happy I was able to get this one on AA. I'm calling Ami Ami AA does faster. And I'm sick of saying Ami Ami, so AA it is. This illustration that Sensei drew is so good. Both my dudes are married. They both have rings on their fingers. I really love small details like these. It's like a good 5.5 inches, which is really nice. The base is plain, but it's nice because it doesn't take away from the overall illustration that we're supposed to be looking at of the beautiful couple. I obviously love these dudes. Next up, I got these CDs from the anime called Deck which I highly recommend watching. It is such a beautiful anime. It has become one of my favorite animes and it was a very underrated gem from 2020. It's only 12 episodes so if you get the chance please watch the anime. That one is one that I highly recommend. This CD you see here contains the ending song of the anime sung by Kashitaro Ito and it's called Kyoku no Hakobune. This is how the front looks. Don't mind the reflection of the CD. You know how it is with the lighting. And this is the back. 
It contains four songs. The first one is obviously the main ending song of the anime. This is how it looks inside. It has the name. The little pamphlet it comes with is really nice. It comes with the lyrics of the three songs on the CD, and of course the credits. And then it just has a really nice illustration that is very calming to look at because of the sunset that is illustrated on it. I can't wait to listen to this one while I'm jamming it out in my car. Oh, and speaking of the little postcard we got in the beginning, it turns out it's a signed one, well, a photocopied signed autograph from Kashitaro Ito, which is the singer of this CD. So that's a nice bonus that it came with. The mystery of this one has been solved. I also got the opening CD of the anime as well. The opening is called Theater of Life, sung by Konomi Suzuki. And the cover illustration of this CD is gorgeous. I love the colors. It kind of gives vibes of the decadent of the anime. If you watch it, you'll understand what I mean. But it just gives off that vibe, which is supposed to. And the back is really nice. And just like the other CD, it comes with four songs as well. With the main song being the opening of the anime, Theater of Life. This is how it looks inside. And the little pamphlet comes with the lyrics of the songs. And there's no illustration to it compared to the other one. But overall, I'm also excited to listen to this CD. And if you ever get the chance, everyone, please watch the anime Decadence. You will definitely not regret it. I also got this cute Jolene. Plush. I don't even have to explain the anime of the Jojo, of the Bazaar, of the Adventure. Cute Jolene Kujo plush. Well, officially called a Chibi Nui Gurumi. All the details on her are obviously great. The back of her hair is nice and soft. They totally glued her braid on there, but it's fine. It looks great. She is quite a sight, isn't she, everyone? Everything on her face is embroidered, which is nice. She feels pretty soft. Her body contains microbeads inside of them, and her entire head and hair are soft. Her clothes are embroidered onto the fabric. I like how they printed her butterfly tattoo on her arm. I'm not sure if some of you guys remember some of those ugly little blushes that they used to come out with all the time. I feel like this Jolene follows that line, but it's like an upgrade of those plushes. If you know what I mean. But overall, I'm really happy with this girl. Alright everyone, here we have a Giratina plush from the I Choose You Pokemon plush line. I have an Arceus one that I unboxed in my previous video, so if you want to check that out, check it out using this link right here. This Giratina is so soft. I don't want to let go of it. All the details on it are great. Comparing it to the official Pokemon Center Giratina plush, it's so cute. The details are amazing. And I like how they added the fluffy factor to it. Its eyes are made of plastic. I like how its little thorns are embroidered onto the wings, which is always good to see. The wings are have like a little fluffy gap of air inside it, but it's really nice. Its claws are made of felt, a really fluffy felt. Only the face is embroidered and the rest of the details are embedded into the fabric. It's just a really nice plush to touch. I can't stop touching it, guys. I cannot stop touching it. This is how the tag looks. Let's move on, everyone. I got this cute Lapras hand rest. It is made of microfiber. <laughs> my favorite. So I actually might use it to rest my hand. And may I say, it is quite nice to rest my hand in stuff. <laughs> this one is made by Enski. They make a lot of good uh, plushes and other stuff. There are quite a few Pokemon plush hand resters that AA has. Little spots on its body are embroidered and everything else is pretty much microfiber, nice and fluffy. Its little shell horns are a little stiff, but they don't feel bad at all. Its eyes are also embroidered along with its eyebrow and its nose. And it's just an overall cute, adorable, lap rest, hand resting plush. This is great for us artists that need to rest our wrists because taking breaks is very important. All right, everyone, the last thing I ordered from this big Ami Ami unboxing was this Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Scale World figure collection set. I was so happy that this line was announced just for Diamond and Pearl because it's my favorite gen. I did also order the Platinum one that is coming out, so I can't wait to get that one as well. So this lineup comes with Turtwig, Piplup, Primplup, Chimcharm, Inferno, Infernape, Empoleon, Lucas, and Dawn. And like in every candy toy figure set box, 
This one comes with six boxes. And in this case, the front of the box tells us what is inside each box. And they also come with a piece of gums, hence the name Candy Toys. What I do like about these figures is that it's pretty easy to open. What you have to do is just pretty much insert your thumb into the open little thing that it tells you. And it just opens. And of course, when you open it, you get the figure and a piece of gum. And as usual, the figures come wrapped up in plastic. I'm gonna open them all and show you guys how they all look side by side. So this is how they all look out of the little plastic packaging they came in. I just really love the Scare World figure line. The only downside that I notice is that the Scare World line is going down in quality. I feel like Bandai now, for this line, is focusing more on quantity more than quality when it comes to these figures. I mean, just looking at Dawn, you can notice a few mispainting errors, like on the bottom of her bag. There's like a little white dot on it. It's not really very quality-like, if you ask me. Especially looking at the neck part of her. It looks kind of funny, but I mean, that's just how it goes with the figure. And when it comes to Infernape, Infernape just looks kind of sad and you can definitely see there's a little scratch at the tip of his head crown next to his ear. There's just like a little painting mishap right there. And although it might not seem like much, it just kind of feels a little disappointing. I feel like there's not the same amount of work that they did when they first came out. Now I feel like it's quantity over quality at this point for this line. I'll just see how it goes for the platinum ones that I will be getting soon. And if they do come out with a Unova one, then I'll probably get them. It depends if they come out with Sharon. I love how the starters are always the smallest little Pokemon that you will see in this line. I don't really have any complaints when it comes to Empoleon, Primplump, and even Monferno, and Lucas as well. Of course, they all need their little touch-ups, but overall, it's a pretty good line. They just really need to up their quality a bit more. I don't mind waiting a few months more if that's what it takes for these figures to get the little touch-ups that they need. Of course, it can be difficult with small figures because I can only imagine painting these. Just takes a long time. Now I have more to add to my Scare Word collection. Alright everyone, so that concludes this big box of the AA haul. I paid Surface Parcel for this particular box. You can find the total price and cost of everything right here. So I did wait around 3 or 4 months for this one, that I am sure of. You know how it be. If I were to compare Surface Premium with Parcel, they're pretty much the same waiting time. It's by C, so it's a give or take when it comes to that. Alright, in this same unboxing video, here is my other AA order that I got in May. I was going to pay Surface Mail Premium for this one, but I decided to go for DHL because why not? I don't need to wait for another package, another three to six months again. So I was all like, you know what? It's small. I'll just pay for this one using DHL. And I really love DHL because this company definitely has the fastest shipping speeds when it comes to delivering packages. So this postcard is definitely a May one featuring Amiko and Liliko. The mascots of AA being little cuties as always. So the first thing in this small box I got was this Emil plush keychain holder. Although I won't use him as a keychain holder. He's just gonna be a hanging decoration. I'm not gonna dirty this little guy. For those of you who are not familiar with Emil, he is from the Nier series. Or to be more specific, the game Nier Replicant, where he makes his first appearance. And may I say, he is quite a little charming plush. Emil went from a weapon to becoming a beloved piece of merchandise for us collectors. His face is nice and squishy. All the facial details are embroidered onto the fabric of his head. Nice and squishy. Here you see the long string attached to him with the keychain holder. But like I said, I'm just gonna hang him up and use him as a decoration. The design of his clothes are on par with his actual video game appearance. They use the correct fabric and everything. It just, it works. The fabric they use is actually pretty high quality for him. His scarf matches him just well. And if you lift up the fabric, you can see his little skull-like body. That is so cute. Instead of it being like a full skull, they just embedded a skeleton design 
onto a black piece of fabric. They attached some skeleton limbs onto it and they just called it a day. And you know what? It works because Emil really is a skeleton boy, but he is our skeleton boy. A nice, soft, adorable merchandise skeleton boy. Oh, I actually forgot he's a hanging pouch keychain holder. You could put like coins in there, but I'm just not going to because I don't want to dirty him. So hanging decoration it is. This is how the tag looks. It says mirror replicant. And that's a meal, everyone. Let's call it a day with this guy. Just kidding, let's move on. Next, I got this heckin' adorable Tiger Bunny 2 handkerchief with all the stern build heroes and their partners. This one is just so cute. They're all little chibis next to each other. And Tiger Bunny 2 is so good. And everyone should watch Tiger Bunny because it's actually really overrated here in the West. This is how the back looks. These are meant to be used as hand towels, but I don't like using them as hand towels. I don't think a lot of us like using these cute ones as hand towels. We just store them away, never using them, only for them to collect dust. But they're cute, so that's pretty nice, right? Adding more to this Tiger and Bunny 2 haul, I got this adorable keychain set of Kotetsu and Barnaby, and oh my god, they are so, 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 so cute. I love this one. They're little lollipops. It's called the Ice Key Holder Set of my dad's. The keychain designs are really adorable, but I'm just looking at my fathers right there, just standing there in their hero suits together forever. I love that. Kotetsu's keychain is green and it has like a little lemon in it with kiwi and his hero symbol. These are so adorable because they have the little wooden stick hanging at the bottom of them. That had a great addition to these because of course they're little ice cream holders. And it says Tiger Money 2 and the copyright stuff on it. Barnaby's is the same. It's red just like Barnaby's thematic colors. It has some cute strawberry designs on it. A little swirl with Bunny's hero emblem on it as well. I love how a lot of the Tiger and Bunny merch when it comes to Kotetsu and Barnaby, they come as a set, which is great because you can't have one without the other. Tiger and Bunny forever, everyone. I'm pretty sure even the merch designers are saying they don't want them separated since they pretty much make them come out as a set, so I love that. And the last addition to this Tiger and Bunny haul is this Golden Ryan acrylic stand. One must be thinking, what? Why Ryan? It's quite simple, really, because Ryan is hot. And he is a great character. I really love this guy. I really loved him in the movie The Rising and when they brought him back for season two, I was squealing because this guy, this guy, yeah. I am an official Ryan simp now. I am going to uh, do my best to make a Ryan shrine. It's a simple stand. They use the same, you know, main design that they use for a lot of official stuff, but it's really good. I love it. I love Ryan, so there's not much to say about it. This is one of the items that I was anticipating from this package. Thank you, Sunrise, for creating this. This man over here. Okay, time to move on. The last things I got in this May AA package are these. Good smile, hello. Kill the kill, small figures. You know I had to get them, guys. These are so cute. Of course, I couldn't say no to Ryuko, Mako, or Satsuki in this line. This is how they look when you open them. These are actually the first figures I bought from this Good Smile line. They are very well packaged. They come in oriented polypropylene, which is the same material of chip bags, so it's easier if you cut it with scissors and with your hands. I don't really know why they decided to go with that type of plastic material because these aren't like mystery ones or anything unless some companies wanted to make it mystery. I feel like it was unnecessary to use that kind of plastic packaging for these figures. Not to mention the fact that they are also wrapped up in the typical plastic that you see figures wrapped in. So it's like double wrapped and then boxed. It comes with a little manual telling how to put the figure together. And just like this, you just plop Ryuko on and, and there you go. The quality for this Yuko is really good. But then again, it's Good Smile, so Good Smile really does come out with some good figures, guys. If they make Nendo's good, you can imagine that these are also going to be good. So this is how all three of them look together. Does anyone remember the word derp? Because these look very derpy to me. All of them can move their head from side to side. It's so cute. I love the quality of them.
And Satsuki looks great too. The only issue I have, which you can't really see on camera, are her little feet. The blue circle that leads to the line of her shoes is quite scratched. I don't know why it's scratched. There's probably like a painting error. That's pretty much the only issue I have with these figures. It's just that little part on Satsuki's feet that need a touch up. But other than that, these figures are great and adorable. So they would make a great addition to any major kill a kill or trigger fan. Alright everyone, and that was pretty much the end of my second AA package. As you can see, I cut out the keychain paper background of Tiger and Bunny and put them on the grill. Because I really like that image. We made it everyone. We made it to the final unboxing. Now this one is a right stuff anime order. And this one was one my sister placed, so I'm unboxing it for her. Because sometimes you can't help but want to unbox everything that someone gets. Now this figure, I didn't know it was from Mega House, but it was. So that's how you know that this one is going to be a really good figure. Sometimes it can be hard to get the figures out when they're stuck inside the box because it's so sealed in. But as you can see, this is a brand new animal or BNA figure of Shido and Michiru. Now this one is really good. I really love just looking at the box. You can see the gradient of like the pink to blue, purple. You got all sorts of colors going on on this box. But may I say this figure already looks phenomenal. Well, for one thing, it's Mega House, so I don't know what else to expect other than greatness. It's actually quite a coincidence that I am unboxing two Trigger Series works in this unboxing. So I just got lucky, I guess. This figure is easy to put together because it just comes as one, which is lucky for me. And when you take it out of that little plastic thingamabob that seals it, it's just wrapped around in a little plastic bag. This figure though, yeah, it is very, very nice and simply amazing. And if you haven't watched this anime, it's obviously animated by Trigger. So, you know, Trigger makes really amazing animes and movies too, <laughs> you know, like Premiere. Okay, so the details on this figure are really, really nice. It just looks so smooth. You don't have to worry about missing any pieces. I like how they're both chilling on like a balcony. I love how they made Shio's expression. They made him very angry looking, but he looks really good regardless. I love the details in his eyes on his face. That just makes the figure even more dynamic looking than it already is. And I love how you could totally tell from his right hand that he's he wants to grab onto something. You could feel his anger through this figure. And I love the, the flow of his jacket. Leading up to his tail, you can tell there's like a wind blowing through them because we can assume that they're obviously up on a roof. And I love the details in Michiru's eyes too. I like how you can see their two differing personalities. You can tell that Shiro is the angry character and Michiru is just a chill character. But she's only just freaking out about wanting to turn back into a human. The details of the clothes are quite simple. They're not as complex as the Kaimon figure I showed in a previous video. Even though that Kaimon one that I showed is from Mega House, so you could definitely tell each style for the figures. Overall, this figure really is an amazing figure. And that's pretty much my finished unboxing, everyone. Here is the shipping and details for this right stuff unboxing. It was basically just the figure. So yeah, everyone, thanks for watching this far. I hope you enjoyed what I showed you. And I know I did because it's the stuff I ordered. And everything I order, I know I'm gonna like. If you're interested in my previous unboxings, go ahead and choose whatever video you desire, my friend. I'll catch you up all on the flip side, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!